Maybe if Michael Rainey Jr. wouldn't have cocked his hat to the side, she wouldn't want to touch his... Maybe if he wouldn't have worn them super skinny jeans exposing his print, she wouldn't have want to touch his... You know? Because y'all said he only touched him if the roles was reversed. If the roles was reversed, y'all would have been blaming it on what we wear or the thirst traps we post. So maybe Michael Rainey Jr., he shouldn't have been looking that good on that episode of Power that one time. And it would have triggered her to do that. I'm just saying, like black women, let's stay on point, let's stay on cue. Y'all be rushing to the front lines for men who wouldn't do anything for us. And it's baffling to me, like it's so many. But but to be honest, I get it, y'all is pick Misha's. Y'all is pick Misha's, it's sad and pathetic. Y'all don't stand on business, I stand on business. I stand on big business. He shouldn't have been wearing what he was wearing. He shouldn't have turned his head to the side. He shouldn't have even been there looking that good. I'm just trying to make my motherfucking money. Y'all done pissed me off. The things that people will say and do for clout on social media is really insane. But not surprising anymore. Like, lady, read the room. Tariq will be under the jail, canceled, and the brother would have been wanting to fight the dude if the roles were reversed. She sound dumb as hell right now. So she think this is justified because people get online and victim blame women. Is that her logic? If that's her logic, then she's basically saying it's okay to victim blame. I'm so confused because this is not okay no matter the gender. No one deserves to be essayed based on the agenda. Just because somebody's essay experience was invalidated doesn't mean you have to invalidate others. Those situations have nothing to do with him and he didn't deserve it. This woman is a perfect example of why men who have been essayed never talk about it. When a man is essayed, it is often downplayed or even ridiculed, which discourages other men from speaking up about their experience. This promotes a cycle of silence and trauma, preventing victims from seeking the help and justice they deserve. Just as women deserve to be heard and supported, men do too. At the end of the day, man or woman, you should keep your damn hands to yourself. Common sense and self-control doesn't have a gender attached to it. SA in any form is unacceptable and should be addressed with the seriousness it deserves. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments down below.